Uber is on a roll this year. After acquiring Kareem here, the company recently acquired Seattle-based Mighty AI to fuel its push into self-driving, are talking about delivering fast food by drones, became publicly listed, and are even recruiting grannies as Uber Eats deliverers in Japan. But are they satisfied? Naha! Uh -huh. So now they've decided to take on the skies. Yes, an aerial ride-hailing platform is on its way, guys. So how does this work? The company describes a flying taxi service as aerial ride-sharing where up to four passengers can travel across a network of landing pads called Skyports, all for the price of an Uber X. Initially, Uber Air will cost about $5.73 per passenger mile. In the near term, it will get the cost down to $1.86 per passenger mile before ideally getting to $0.44. And apparently, these passenger drones will be able to whisk passengers to their destination at 150 to 200 miles per hour. So a lot of your commute time is going to be saved too. Uber Air will start test flights of its aerial taxi service in 2020 and move to commercial operations by 2023. How do you avail the service? Exactly like how we use Uber now. Use the app to book a ride to the platform, the Skyports, and then just board these flying taxis and skip the traffic below. Now let me give you more details on the vehicles itself. It basically is a passenger drone which unlike a helicopter is far simpler. Controlled by computers, they use electricity as a primary power source from batteries making them thrust into the sky. Uber actually unveiled the model of Uber Air and it seats, you know, four people with a pilot a few weeks back. The end goal would obviously be to be fully autonomous, however, this would require extensive proof that these systems are completely safe. Aside from some electric blue lighting and similarly coloured seat belts, there aren't the same kinds of comforts you'd actually find on an airplane, but that's likely since Uber is planning to only use these aircraft for short rides, say about 60 miles. They're also working on a number of Skyport concepts at the moment. Skyports, like I said, are launch pads and landing sites on rooftops around cities as a supportive infrastructure. As part of Uber's design competition, the proposed Skyports need to support transport of more than 4,000 passengers per hour with a 3-acre footprint, as well as meet the noise and environmental requirements. They also need to ensure that electric-powered aircraft were able to charge and recharge between these trips. Melbourne, Dallas and Los Angeles have all put themselves forward as potential sites for the first round of flights. Unfortunately, the Middle East wasn't included in the initial list due to demand-related uncertainty and challenging weather conditions. But hey, there's nothing to be bummed about though. I know Uber Air was mind-blowing and all, but I'm going to take some time to appreciate what's actually already been happening here in the UAE. We do have our own personal aircraft that is battery-operated and are already running here in Dubai. So the city tested the world's first automatic flying taxi back in September 2017, making it the world's first self-flying service. RTA even exhibited the two-seater AAT that is Autonomous Air Taxi manufactured by Velocopter in Jitex last year if you remember. So I'd say Dubai is doing uber cool stuff too when it comes to futuristic travel and transport. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular news updates and of course, like, follow and share this video.